back to another tying video, you guys. Today, I got a video on a fly that I call the Purple Pertagon. It's a glow bright thread Pertagon fly, mayfly. I'm not the originator of this fly. It's actually Amy Hazel at Deschutes Angler. It's a sweet fly. This is just a color variation that I like. So like always, you guys, I'm gonna give you three reasons why I like this fly. Okay, reason number one is that it sinks fast. It's a Pertagon style fly. So of course it's gonna sink fast. It's all, you know, bullet style. It's real heavy. I tie it oversized to get down deep and fast. And there's no materials on there that are gonna hang up or keep that fly from getting down fast. So that's reason number one. Okay, reason number two that I like this fly so much is that it's a quick tie. You'll see in this video, it's like three materials. It goes real fast. You can crank these babies out. So you don't have to worry about spending a bunch of time to fill your box with a fly that's gonna be really productive. That's reason number two. The last reason that I like this fly is that you can tie this fly in like five or six different colors, the exact same pattern, the exact same way with a bunch of different color beads. Um, I like silver, copper, and pink and you'll just you know you can fill your box super fast and it works in a bunch of different colors i like green purple blue those are the three colors that i like the most but i've also had success with this in an all black or an all red too so that's reason number three let's get into tying it now okay so in the vise i have a folding mill 5125 size 18 jig hook and a three and a half millimeter slotted tungsten hannock bead in silver I like the silver color with this fly. Personally, it's the only color that I tie it in because um, I think it has a little bit more natural look, even though this is a bomb and it's made to sink. So I'm gonna start the thread, build up a little bit of a dam behind the beads so that that bead is hooked in place and it won't go anywhere and it's straight. And then I run the thread all the way back to where the, um, the barb would be. And then I come back forward just like that. And I grab some of my Coke De Leon tailing fibers. I want about six to eight of those. Take those off, hold them up to the fly or the hook. And I want them to be about the length of the body or maybe just a little bit less. So I'll put those on and I'll check to make sure. Oh, that's not good. Start that again. So I'll put those on just like that. Check and see where they're lined up. That looks good there. And then we will run our thread all the way back to that same point again. And then I will do one wrap behind those fibers. And it just helps those fibers stand up a little bit so they don't get pushed down. And then I run back forward and trim off my excess tailing fiber come back up and I grab my glow bright purple number 15 and I wrap that around the thread and I get that just up on top like that and then I capture it and I run this touching wraps all the way back just like this I want touching wraps because I want this white vivas thread to cover the color of the hook because it helps the the thread um, shine when you're fishing this fly, the thread really gets brighter if you have a white underbase. And then I'm just gonna take that thread and I'm gonna advance it forward. And the reason that in touching wraps to cover all the way, and the reason that I'm using the white instead of just tying this with glow bright is that glow bright is really thick, it's floss, and I want a thin body. So I capture that, and you're gonna see this is not that many materials and it's a really quick tie, which is awesome. So I've captured that. Now I'm gonna come in here with my pink Sharpie and I'm gonna color up all this thread here, just like this. And I'm actually not gonna do anything. This is what I'm gonna to use to create the hot spot. The same white thread, I just color it with the Sharpie. And I'm just gonna build up a pink hot spot with the wet finish and trim that up. Now I got a Solar Ease here. We're gonna come in with that. Just add a little bit. I like to add it right in the bead slot to fill that up and then a little bit on the back. So that's gonna be a lot of um, resin, but I'm gonna wipe a lot of it off. So I'm just kinda of gonna spread this around with my bodkin here. 
and kind of get that even. And then if you spin this, it kind of spreads. It helps that resin kind of smooth out. And then I'm just gonna hit this with my light for 10 seconds or so, keep spinning, and then do the rest of the time with my light. And we're almost done with this fly. A lot of people will put the nail polish hot um, wing pad on first and then the resin over the top. I like it the other way around, it's personal preference. So that's done there. I have another one that's already dry without the wing pad. So now you can see on top, we want our Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails to come in. And we're gonna just take a little bit of that and apply it just to the top right there. Just like that, just a little wing pad so you can see that there. And that is your finished purple glow bright Pertagon. So that's the purple one that I'm showing you here, but I also like this fly in um, blue, which I'll show you. So that's a blue one. I like that one. That one's super popular. And I should note, I didn't originate this pattern. This is an Amy Hazel pattern, the blue. And the green is hers as well, which this is a green version. So everything is exactly the same. You just change out the glow bright, which is cool. Back to the purple one that we just tied. So here's the, here's the purple one that we just tied. And this is in a bomb kind of style with a three and a half mil bead and a little size 18 hook. Gets down fast, catches fish. So that's your finished fly. Fish it.